The space is vast, silent, and full of secrets. Despite all our satellites, telescopes, and theories, the universe keeps its deepest mysteries hidden behind a cosmic curtain. Tonight, we dive into 10 of the creepiest space anomalies that even top scientists still can't fully explain. Some whispers from galaxies far away. Others are forces pulling entire galaxies unseen and unstoppable. So let's begin with the video. Imagine holding something in your hands that you cannot see, touch, or smell. Sounds impossible, right? But this is exactly what scientists believe exists all around us. Dark matter. It makes up about 85% of all the matter in the universe. But here's the twist. We've never directly seen it. It doesn't give off light. It doesn't shine. It doesn't reflect anything. It's like a ghost that only reveals itself through gravity. Think about galaxies, giant collections of stars spinning in space. They spin so fast that if they only had visible matter, they should fly apart. But they don't. Something invisible is holding them together. That something is dark matter. We know it's there because we see its effects. It pulls on stars. It bends light from faraway galaxies, something only gravity can do. But we still don't know what it is. Some scientists think dark matter could be made up of exotic particles like WIMPs, weakly interacting massive particles or axions, which are even lighter and weirder. Others suggest it could be something entirely unknown. To catch a dark matter particle, scientists have built underground labs, such as the Xenon-1T detector in Italy. These detectors sit deep below the Earth's surface to avoid interference from cosmic rays. They're waiting in silence, hoping a dark matter particle bumps into something inside. So far, nothing. But the search continues. If we can find it, we'll finally understand what most of our universe is actually made of. Until then, it remains one of the universe's biggest mysteries. Fast radio bursts, cosmic whispers. In 2007, astronomers detected something strange, a loud burst of radio waves lasting just a few milliseconds. It came from deep space and then silence. They called it a fast radio burst or FRB. Since then, scientists have found many more FRBs. These are super short but incredibly powerful blasts of radio waves from distant galaxies. An FRB can release more energy in a single millisecond than the sun does in an entire day. Imagine flicking on a flashlight for a tiny fraction of a second and that tiny flicker lighting up an entire city. That's the kind of energy we're talking about. Some FRBs happen only once. Others repeat, sometimes with patterns, like a cosmic heartbeat. One famous repeating FRB called FRB 121112 comes from a galaxy 3 billion light years away. It's been bursting for years, baffling scientists. So what causes FRBs? Theories include colliding black holes, magnetars, a type of supermagnetic neutron star, and even alien civilizations. Yes, some scientists once wondered if FRBs were signals from intelligent life, but so far, we have no evidence of that. What makes FRBs exciting is that we don't fully understand them. Every new burst is a clue a whisper from the cosmos telling us there's much more to learn. The Great Attractor, a cosmic pull. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is not just floating gently through space. It's speeding at over 600 kilometers per second towards something huge and mysterious. We call it the Great Attractor. This isn't a planet or a star. It's not even a single galaxy. It's a giant unseen gravitational force located about 150 million light years away. And we don't know exactly what it is. What's even stranger is that the Great Attractor is hidden behind the thick center of our own galaxy, a region astronomers call the Zone of Avoidance. It's like trying to look through a fog made of billions of stars and clouds of gas. Despite that, we can measure how fast galaxies around us are moving. Many of them, including our own, are being pulled in the same direction toward this mysterious zone. That tells us something massive is tugging on all of us. Some theories suggest it's a supercluster of galaxies, or perhaps a giant clump of dark matter. Others say it's part of something even bigger, like the Shapley supercluster pulling everything in. The truth is, we're being pulled towards something enormous, and we don't know what's waiting for us there. Cosmic Microwave Background Cold Spot After the Big Bang, the universe was hot, incredibly hot. But over time, it cooled. What remains is the Cosmic Microwave Background, or CMB, a faint glow spread across the entire universe. It's like an old photograph of the universe when it was just 380,000 years old. This microwave background is mostly the same in all directions, but not perfectly. There's one area called the cold spot that's colder than it should be. This cold spot is unusual. Some scientists think it could be caused by a supervoid of vast, empty area of space with fewer galaxies. 
Others suggest something more exotic, like the fingerprints of another universe colliding with ours. Imagine two soap bubbles bumping into each other while expanding. Some cosmologists believe our universe might be one bubble in a multiverse, and the cold spot might be where another bubble touched ours. It's a bold idea, and we may never know for sure. But one thing is clear. The cold spot doesn't fit with our current understanding of the early universe. Rogue planets. Drifters in the dark planets usually orbit stars, just like Earth orbits the sun. But what if a planet had no star at all, just floating alone in the darkness of space? These lonely worlds are called rogue planets. Scientists believe there could be billions of them in our galaxy alone. Some may have been kicked out of their solar systems by gravitational forces. Others might have formed alone, far from any star. Without sunlight, you'd think they'd be cold, dead rocks. But some rogue planets might have internal heat from radioactive elements or gravitational compression. That heat could warm underground oceans, where life might survive in complete darkness. One tiny rogue planet, Ogle 2016 BLG 1928, is about the size of Earth's moon. It was discovered using a technique called gravitational microlensing when a planet's gravity bends the light of a background star. Rogue planets challenge our ideas of what a planet is and where life might exist. Even in the cold emptiness of space, these wanderers might hold secrets. Oumuamua, the interstellar visitor. In 2017, something very strange zipped through our solar system. It came from another star, the first interstellar object we've ever seen. Scientists named it Oumuamua, which means a messenger from afar arriving first in Hawaiian. But Oumuamua wasn't like anything we'd expected. It was long and thin, more like a cigar than a rock. It spun strangely and seemed to accelerate slightly even though it showed no signs of a tail like a comet. Some scientists thought it was just a weird piece of ice. Others wondered if it could be artificial like a probe from another civilization. Harvard professor Avi Loeb proposed that it might be a thin solar sail, a piece of technology pushed by starlight. Most scientists didn't agree, but the idea captured imaginations around the world. Before we could learn more, Oumuamua was gone already too far away to study with our telescopes. It left behind more questions than answers. And scientists believe there may be many more interstellar visitors out there, waiting to be discovered. The Pioneer Anomaly When physics went silent Imagine you're driving a car with perfect GPS tracking. You know exactly how fast and how far it's supposed to go, but then it starts slowing down for no reason. That's exactly what happened to NASA's Pioneer 10 and Pioneer 11 spacecraft. Launched in the early 1970s, these spacecraft were among the first to venture out of our solar system. But once they traveled far enough billions of kilometers from Earth, scientists noticed something weird. Both crafts were slowing down ever so slightly. Not a dramatic stop, just a small but measurable deceleration. At first everyone thought it was a glitch, but after checking calculations again and again, they realized the slowdown was real. This became known as the Pioneer Anomaly. Why was this strange? Because based on everything we know about gravity and motion in space, this slowdown shouldn't be happening. The anomaly puzzled NASA and astrophysicists for decades. Some thought it might point to a flaw in our understanding of gravity, or even an interaction with dark matter or an unknown force in deep space. Eventually, a more mundane explanation gained traction, thermal recoil force. Basically, the spacecraft were giving off heat unevenly, like a flashlight beaming slightly more light in one direction. That small push was enough to nudge them back. But not everyone agrees and many believe something deeper is hiding in the data. Real-world comparison. It's like throwing a ball into the air and finding it comes back slower than expected even though there's no wind or friction. But why it matters if it wasn't just heat but something else. We might have stumbled upon new physics or something strange about the space between stars. Dark Forest Hypothesis. Why aliens might be hiding. Why haven't we heard from aliens? We've searched the skies for decades using radio telescopes, launched probes, and sent out signals. Still, the universe remains quiet. One chilling explanation is the dark forest hypothesis. Imagine you're walking through a dark forest at night. You know there could be others out there. But if you make noise, a predator might find you. So you stay silent. Now apply that to intelligent civilizations. Maybe space is like that dark forest, and all advanced life knows the risks of making contact. If a civilization reveals itself, it might be destroyed by a more powerful one. This idea was popularized by Chinese author Liu Qixin in the novel The Three-Body Problem. It flips the way we think about extraterrestrial life. Instead of asking why aliens haven't contacted us, 
it suggests they're choosing not to. Silence is survival. There's no hard proof for this, but the idea has gained traction among some SETI, search for extraterrestrial intelligence researchers. Maybe sending signals out into the void is risky. Maybe we're shouting in a forest where everyone else is whispering or hiding. To give an example as nature, animals often stay silent to avoid predators. Even birds stop singing when a hawk is near. Why it matters. If true, it might explain the eerie silence of the cosmos and warn us to stay quiet too. Zombie stars when stars refuse to die. Stars die in spectacular ways. They collapse, explode, or fade out. But in 2014, astronomers found something utterly bizarre. A star that exploded and then exploded again and again. It's a supernova that defied everything we thought. We knew about how stars die. Most supernova explode once and are done. But IPTF 14 idols exploded multiple times over a span of years, each time as bright as the first. In simpler terms, the star might be so massive and hot that it starts producing antimatter in its core, which causes repeated explosions, but doesn't completely destroy the star, not yet at least. The zombie star stayed alive far longer than expected. Some even suggested the possibility of exotic physics or an unknown process. What else are we wrong about? This challenges our models of stellar death and forces scientists to rethink how the most massive stars behave. The black hole that shouldn't exist, LB1. In 2019, scientists announced a shocking discovery, a black hole in our galaxy that should be impossible. Called LB1, this black hole is about 70 times more massive than the sun. Now normally, when a star dies and becomes a black hole, the size is limited. Especially in galaxies like ours that have a lot of heavy elements, black holes tend to top out around 20-30 solar masses. But LB1 was more than double that and no one could explain how it formed. One theory? Maybe two smaller black holes merged to form this monster. But that kind of event should have created gravitational waves, and we didn't detect any from that region at the time. Another theory is that we're not seeing one black hole at all, but two black holes orbiting each other, tricking our measurements. Still, LB1 remains a mystery. Some experts say we need to rethink how stars collapse and die. Others wonder if this could be an entirely new kind of black hole, or if there's something we don't yet understand about mass loss in stars. But why it matters? It forces scientists to revisit star evolution theories and could reveal unknown processes in the universe. The universe is a vast, mysterious place filled with phenomena that stretch the limits of our understanding. From stars that rise again after death to invisible forces pulling galaxies across the cosmos, these mysteries remind us how much we still don't know. But that's what makes space exploration so thrilling. Every discovery brings more questions. Every mystery draws us deeper into the cosmic puzzle. And who knows, maybe the next big breakthrough will come not from a telescope, but from a curious mind asking the right question at the right time.